The Suicide Squad, also called Task Force X, they are a covert team of expendable, superpowered uh, mercenaries. I'm kind of reluctant to say heroes. What's up, Nerd Squad? I'm Patty D, and this is Top 10 Most Powerful Suicide Squad Members. Number 10. Deadshot. Also known as Floyd Lawton, Deadshot was kind of done dirty by the Suicide Squad movie. An expert marksman can only really do so much against a demonic witch. A recurring and long-standing member of the Suicide Squad, Deadshot is known for his firearm skills and unmatched accuracy that his name would suggest. He is one of the most feared assassins in the DC Universe and has hand-to-hand -to -hand fighting skills on par with guys like Deathstroke. For a guy without any superpowers, he is a pretty serious threat. He is known for never missing a shot and once worked with Batman to take down the Cobra Cult. He is in peak human condition, a weapons expert, and has sweet demolition skills as well, having once killed 28 civilians with a bomb. He is a skilled, self-taught engineer as well. He even built his signature wrist-mounted guns all on his own. Number 9. Deathstroke With strengths and reflexes that are 10 times that of the average soldier, Deathstroke is definitely a powerful dude. He can use 90% of his brain, making him one of the best tactical strategists in the world. His time with the Suicide Squad was pretty short, as a group of Russians wind up offering him a better deal and he just kind of leaves. He does have a set of skills that has allowed him to beat multiple members of the Justice League in the past. The only contract he's ever failed to complete is one against the Teen Titans. He is commonly considered to be the world's deadliest assassin, and he benefits from a wide range of powers. His abilities include accelerated healing, toxic immunity, and superhuman senses. He also has superhuman strength, speed, and stamina and can exert himself for hours without tiring, even while wearing heavy body armor. He is also a genius with an eidetic memory and tactical analysis on par with Batman. He once took on 300 opponents at once. Number 8. Poison Ivy Another long-standing member of the Suicide Squad is Poison Ivy, who seduces men with plant-based abilities and kills them with a single kiss. She is a champion of the green, the energy force behind plant-based life. She has many abilities, including being able to control humans using plant pheromones and mutate plant life making monstrous creations or giant vines she can use to her advantage. Swamp Thing once said that her powers have a mythical component and her power likely rivals his own, calling her the May Queen the mother of spring and summer. She is crazy powerful, having once brought an entire tree crashing down on Clayface, and another time brought down a skyscraper with some giant vines. She is a master of seduction and taunts her trapped opponents with their human desires. She can regenerate her limbs and even benefits from decelerated aging. If you're thinking she sounds about perfect right now, I should warn you, she's also mentally unstable. Number seven. El Diablo. The name El Diablo has belonged to other characters in DC's past, but the Suicide Squad Diablo is Chato Santana, a powerful criminal with power over fire. When he uses his full power, he transforms into a demonic form with wings. His powers are based in magic, having received them from Lazarus Lane, the first El Diablo. When transformed, his demonic avatar was powerful enough to take on Incubus, a demon from another dimension. El Diablo has other abilities as well, including being able to travel to hell, and Suicide Squad director Amanda Waller claims El Diablo is one of the most powerful metahumans in the world. Number 6. Harley Quinn Another powerful member of the Suicide Squad, and a face I'm sure you were expecting to see, Harley Quinn. She has come a long way from being sidekick to the Joker. She's been a partner in crime, a proper villain herself, and at times a vigilante. She has a pull no punches approach to combat and questionable sanity, but she was once a criminal psychologist, so she kind of knows what she's on about. Specific kind of crazy. She is immune to most toxins and poisons, and is advanced at hand-to-hand -hand combat with great skill regarding weapons, skills, and leadership. Watch out for that sanity though. After Joker was skinned alive and killed, she broke into an evidence locker to steal his face, only to kidnap Deadshot and make him wear it while she asks questions. She might not be the most physically powerful, but she will definitely mess up your day. Number five, Killer Frost. She's now just known as Frost, but she used to be a formidable villain and a member of the Suicide Squad. She was a bright young scientist working for Star Labs in the Arctic Circle, working on a self-sustaining thermodynamic ultraconductor engine, basically a perpetual motion machine. But the only perpetual motion happening here is DC perpetuating the same stereotypes, am I right? This icy-hearted femme fatale becomes a vampiric being who craves heat and absorbs it from living beings to sustain herself. 
for real. Her colleagues are revealed to be secretly working for an organization called Hive, who wants to keep the machine secret to protect their existing investments. They attempt to silence her by placing her inside the working ultra conductor engine, where she panics and rips out some wires connected to the coolant system. Her biological makeup is infused with ice and she becomes frost. Part of her power is her unique physiology. Rather than being made of ice, her body is actually encased in permafrost and she generates organic ice-like cells which make up her chemistry. She can spear her opponents with ice shards like a mage from Skyrim and create ice storms powerful enough to kill people. She has a genius level intellect as well, but she will die if she spends too much time chilling. She really starts to feel the heat if she's not absorbing everybody's I don't know, I tried a lot of different funny puns here about the stealing the heat thing, but none of them really hit. Number four, Black Orchid. Although many people have taken the mantle of Black Orchid, the original and most connected to the Suicide Squad is Susan Linden Thorne. She developed a love for plant life from her high school sweetheart, a botanist named Philip Sylvain. Her father was abusive and she ran away as a child, becoming a blackjack dealer and getting into trouble, later returning to Philip who used his plant-based studies to turn her into a human-plant hybrid named Black Orchid. She brought many criminals to justice, but could never get to Lex Luthor. And when she does, he has her killed. Miraculously, her consciousness flees back to the lab and this causes a second orchid body to awaken. Her main ability is her total mastery of disguises, but she is also very powerful outside this. Nearly invulnerable, in fact. She can fly, project force fields, and has superhuman strength, speed, and agility. She does, however, have a weakness against the weed killer due to her unique physiology. Still more powerful than Poison Ivy. Number three, Black Adam. The nemesis of Shazam, Black Adam was once a member of the Suicide Squad. He requests the squad's help to help fight against an evil sorceress in Suicide Squad Volume 2 and 3, temporarily joining them. Black Adam was once a candidate to replace the wizard Shazam, but he was unfortunately corrupted by the power. Unlike his nemesis Billy Batson, who has the power of the seven Greek gods, Adam has the power of seven Egyptian gods. He is literally an unstoppable powerhouse that not even Superman could defeat by himself. He can use lightning as a weapon and benefits from accelerated healing and a whole host of other powers bestowed upon him by the Egyptian gods. He is set to appear in an upcoming DC film, portrayed by none other than The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Number two, Parasite. That's right, even Parasite has been a member of the Suicide Squad. In New Suicide Squad number nine, no doubt one of their most powerful members ever, Parasite's ability to absorb powers from the people he touches makes him a threat to even Superman. Not only this, but by absorbing excess energy, Parasite's body mutates and he becomes even stronger. This during a period of time where he was keeping the powers that he absorbed. He also absorbs memories, meaning that he can learn the secret identity of heroes like Superman. It's Parasite's potential for power, depending on who he absorbs from, that lands him so high on our list. Number one, Enchantress. Enchantress is a magic-powered supervillain contained in a human host named June Moon. Enchantress was originally June's second personality, but it's later established that the Enchantress is a separate entity during the In the Dark storyline. Enchantress has seriously earned her spot as the Suicide Squad's most powerful member. She is fused with an extra-dimensional demonic entity, which led her to developing the Enchantress persona that she switches to by saying her alter ego's name. The Justice League Dark was actually assembled to help take her on, and as of the new 52, Enchantress has become even more powerful, even surpassing Zatanna, who is powerful enough to do basically anything in terms of magic ability. Enchantress once conjured hundreds of clones of herself. She has a crazy collection of powers, including force fields, flight, necromancy, possession, and control of the elements and weather. She can even stop time. So who are we forgetting? Who are your favorite Suicide Squad members? Let us know down in the comments below. And now let's take a look at some comments from another video, Top 10 Scariest Moments in Marvel Comics. Chris Bradley says, The scariest things in Marvel Comics, to me, have to be the scary things that involve Spider-Man. Yo, as a Spider-Man fan, I am definitely a little biased, but I have to agree, poor old Pete really has a rough time. We did a video on the worst things to happen to Spider-Man, and it had four parts. Dude, or D-O, says, did someone tell this man as a joke that his eyebrow, <laughs> that he doesn't move his eyebrows enough? Cause those things are bananas. Yo, these bad boys really get bouncing around sometimes. 
Imagine if I did reaction videos. Thank you all you guys for your comments. We always really look forward to seeing them. I'm Patty D and this is Top 10 Nerd.